Hey guys, and welcome to another video from Irish Ham Radio. In this video, I'm going to attempt to make a 40 meter dipole antenna with a little bit of a difference. So if you stick around and watch on, you'll find out what that is. I'm Dave, EI5IMB, and if you're still with me, let me let you in on the secret of what I'm gonna to do today with this 40 meter dipole. Okay, so it's not that big of a deal, but uh, what has me out here today is that there is a contest, the last contest of the year for the IRTS in Ireland here. And it's the 40 meter uh, national counties contest. So what I'm gonna do today is I don't have a 40 meter dipole. I have a vertical comet antenna that I'm trying at the minute, multiband antenna, which I have never heard anybody from EI on Ireland on at all. So um, I reckon I really need to build a dipole and uh, for the purpose of the contest, keep it fairly low and fairly flat and try to make it an NVIS antenna or near vertical incidence antenna. Um, now, as well as that, when I'm building this antenna, I actually want it eventually to become a fan dipole, a dual band fan dipole for 20 meters and 40 meters, which is why I have this box. This is gonna be the center point of the antenna. I'm also gonna build a ballon today one-to-one uh, -one ballon uh, to help out with uh, any radiation from the feeder to the antenna. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's get started with the ballon. I have an old uh, toroid ring here that I took out of an old um, UPS that was being uh, dumped. And I have some jumper wire, telecoms jumper wire that I'm going to use to wrap around it. So let's get to it. I'm using a fairly basic tried and trusted design uh, which I found on the internet, and I'll put the source of this design on the description. Okay, so here's our jumper wire and our toroid. So let's get wrapping. And there we are. Might not be massively pretty with the cable ties, but that's my one-to-one -one ballon. Whether it's right or not, I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, so so next on to the box that's going to house the uh, centre of the antenna and uh, the ballon, and obviously the different uh, fans for the dipoles. Now, from my research online, it tells me that if I want to build a fan dipole, um, the most effective way to do it is actually not to have uh, all dipoles, in my case it's only going to be a 20 and a 40, but coming from a center point. For best effectiveness, the, fan po the start of the fans should actually be at least five and a half inches apart, which is why I have such a large box here. And you can see my intention is to put the, uh, the ballon in the center of this box and have a, a jumpering arrangement that, as you can see, this box is actually the guts of eight inches long. Uh, so as long as my ballon is in the center, I'll have a connection off to the t top, which would be say for my um, 20, 20 meter dipole, and then down to the bottom for my 40 meter dipole. And I'll definitely be able to maintain that uh, minimum of five and a half inch distance between the start of each dipole when I eventually make this into a, into a fan. So let's get at it. So firstly, I fitted the ballon and screwed the connections onto some bolts and nuts through the bottom of the box. Next, I fitted some uh, terminal block connectors onto the base of the box, at least uh, five and a half inches apart for the connection of the uh, ballon and obviously off the dipoles. I then made off four cables of even length that were gonna go from the uh, screw terminals to the block terminals. Uh, for the connection of the ballon to the dipoles. So there we go. Uh, well, if nothing else, it kind of looks cool. Now I've got to find uh, some way of actually fixing this ballon so that it doesn't end up um, breaking on me. All right, so there's the uh, finished internals. 
Uh, I'm not saying this is an instruction video because I don't even know will this work. I've just taken it from some stuff I've looked up online and uh, some stuff I've learnt. Uh, as you can see I've got the shield heads off in this direction and the core heads off in this direction into the ballon, round the toroid ring, uh, off here to each of the poles of the dipole. That's going to be my 20 meter at the top. That's going to be my 40 meter at the bottom which is the only one I'm going to actually connect today. And I just had a an old uh, end type back to back that I had laying around that I made for the um, that I used for the for the connection feed point. Yeah, so that's really it. So let's get the uh, the legs onto this dipole and stick it up. And maybe start tuning and see if we can get something working. Here's the post construction mess. It's got to get this tidied up. We're gonna have 15 minutes of the competition and get this uh, center this dipole up and. Hopefully it doesn't take a lot of tuning. Here we go. But you're not going to believe how annoyed I am. Peed off. Had the box up here on this pole. Uh, tied up. I'm just going to string off the dipoles that way and that way. And start tuning it. Got it up once. Started to string the dipoles. Strung them up. Had to trim it a bit. So untied it. Was tugging one of the dipoles and. <whistles> come off the pole. Smashed the box to bits. Oh, I give up. The cabling is still intact and all of that, but the um, box is destroyed. So, back to square one. No contest for me today, I don't have an antenna. Well, such is life. It ain't all uh, successes, so yeah, back to the drawing board. All right, so might have missed the contest, but uh, Two plastic boxes and a lot of curse words later. Uh, I've got the uh, dipole rebuilt into a box and um, just have to reaffix the, the toroid there to the back of the box somewhere with maybe some glue and we'll try putting it up in the pole and start trimming again. So here we go. And there is my completed fan dipole actually pre-tuning. So I've tuned the uh, 40 meter dipole very well to the center of the handband. And I've only just put on the 20 meter dipole, but I haven't tuned yet, that yet. So that's the next job. So uh, after the disaster for the contest today, I went ahead and I finished off making the fan dipole antenna as you saw earlier there. And now I'm just getting to test it. So looking good on the bottom of the SSB section of the uh, 40 meter band. Let's bring it up and look at it across all the way up to 7200. Very acceptable. Yes, not so bad. So here we have the uh, bottom end of 20 meters. Up to the top end, we're still getting 1.5, so I'm happy with that. Gotta get this antenna on the air and see how it performs. So here we are, folks. I'm back in the shack after pretty much a full day out messing with antennas. You saw that uh, the start of the day didn't go the way I planned. I was hoping to take part in the uh, 40 meter counties contest today and uh, just about 20 minutes before the start of the contest when I was putting up my uh, dipole I ended up dropping the box and breaking it so but that's the way it goes. So I took the guts out of that box as you saw I built a new dipole uh, actually went ahead and finished it off till the evening and made my full fan dipole dual bander which is a 40 meter and 20 meter and I'm getting good SWR there as you saw on both bands so now it's time to stick it on the air turn on the old FT891 and see if we can get some contacts Tango Mexico, Echo to Alpha Lima Charlie, coding and standing by. Uh, Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo. Mike Bravo, Mike Bravo again. Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo, QSL. Yes, sir, we, uh, Echo India 5, uh, uh, India Mike Bravo. Uh, yes, QSL, QSL, sorry, your call sign there is Tango, Tango Mike 8 
two, Alpha. Okay, Tango Mexico, uh, eight to two, Alpha Lima Charlie. Alpha Lima Charlie. Alpha Lima Charlie, you understand? Yes, QSL, QSL, yeah. seven trees. So bad. So we got um, we got France there. That's Richard in France. That's a good start anyway, and uh, that's on the forty meter dipole. Yeah, QSL, uh, Echo India Five, India Mike Bravo, QSL. Echo India Five, India Mike Bravo, five seven. Yes, QSL five seven. Thank you very much. You are five eight five eight. Your call sign is Yankee Uniform One, and the rest, uh, please. Yes, yes, QSL, QSL, Lazar, is that correct? Uh, over. Roger, roger, roger. Thank you, 73, goodbye. Thank you very much, uh, 73. Thank you very much, uh, Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo. So that's, uh, that's Serbia. So we've got France and Serbia, all on 40 meters. Uh, Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo. Yes, that's correct, that's correct. QSL, Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo. Hello, how are you? Uh, your call sign, Foxtrot 5, Romeo Alpha Golf. Uh, is that correct? India, India, Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo, Fox 5, Romeo Alpha Golf. Yeah, QSL in Inaki, is that correct? Yeah. Uh, very good, yeah, this is uh, David here. Um, I'm a... Nice to talk to you for the first time. I'll QSL on uh, LOTW and on QRZ.com. So uh, thanks very much. And uh, throw it back to you for final F5 RAG Echo India 5 India Mike Bravo. So, seven threes. So that's a nice QSL into uh, QSO, sorry, into France there as well. So not too bad. Yeah, so it looks like the look the conditions maybe aren't there tonight for uh, 20 meters even on the SDRs there's nothing really coming in on the web SDRs so it seemed to perform fairly well on 40 meters we'll give it a go again maybe tomorrow on the 20 and see how it goes but I'm pretty happy with that right so it's the next morning guys uh, I'm gonna give 20 meters a shot I know 20 meters and anything during the day isn't uh, may not be great but we'll give it a go anyway just to see if we can get anything on 20. Uh, Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo. Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo. Yes, QSL, hello, how are you today? This is Echo India 5, India Mike Bravo in Ireland Northwest. Uh, QSL on that, India Zulu 1, Uniform Kilo Foxtrot, excellent, excellent. Franca, is that correct? I am David, uh, QSL. Thank you for listening, QSL, I'm under 73 for you and the family. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Franca. Seven threes, you are five nine here, five nine here, Franca. Thank you very much. I will QSL on uh, LOTW and on QRZ.com. Over. There you go. There's a QSO in Italy. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, you probably notice if you follow my videos that my shack and my setup has changed a little bit here. So the next video I release on my two-month licensed birthday, 
uh, will be a short one, just giving you, giving you an update on um, how I've changed my shack and what I've been at since with getting myself set up a bit better with the radios and the antennas. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave, give it a little like. Or if you want to see a little bit more content like this, even hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much. EI5IMB73s. Thank <laughs> you.